Um, what can the pitching wrap show, Soto show you besides the velo that everyone always talks about? What is the pitching wrap Soto kind of showing you uh, metric wise and how do you use that to help some of these players? So the, uh, the pitching and the hitting definitely differ. Um, you know, the hitting is, um, you know, I, I think you can use the hitting amongst a lot of different age groups where um, the results are going to tell you a story. Uh, and it's very simple to that fact. With the pitching wrap, so there's a little bit more of pitch design with it, right? You know, so, you know, at kids are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're trying to, tell them, trying to show them how to have good enough mechanics to throw strikes. Then you get to a higher level and you're trying to teach kids, well, how can I make my breaking ball uh, play off my fastball better? How can I make my changeup look like my fastball? Um, how can I make sure I'm throwing pitches from the same slot so I'm tunneling better? Um, how can I uh, utilize the spin rate on my fastball um, to attack different hitters? Um, you, know, you, you can run into a bunch of different things on the pitching side. I think what the pitching side offers um, is that design concept. You can really go in and change a lot of different things and little things. Um, you know, velocity, um, spin rate, spin direction, spin axis, gyro spin, a lot of these different things that go into explaining why the ball is curving or moving at a certain point, you know, in, rel in relation to the plate, um, as well as how does it, you know, how does it look to a hitter, um, which is I've, something I've always found interesting because I was a two-way player, um, you know, up, up through college, and I would always remember, you know, thinking to myself, man, I wish I knew what my stuff looked like, um, and, and this is a great tool to give that picture to a player.